My name is Don Heavy, and this is the Black Market. Today's lesson will include. Oh shit! This is total unprofessional. I apologize. One more. Now let's get freaks. Stocks. What up, stocks? Stocks are shares of publicly held companies that are available for the purchasing and selling by ordinary people like you and I. Yeah. I know it's crazy, right? Owning companies like Walmart, McDonald's, Chipotle, Apple, and even... Did you say Chipotle? Oh my god, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Now, some of you might be saying, oh, why is he saying this? We already know all about the stock market. Blah, blah, blah. We're in our dummies. Well, if that's the case, then I ask how many shares of any public company do you own? Don't worry, I'll wait. With that being said, shut up, sit your ass down, and pay attention while I'm on the mic. Moving forward. I mentioned before that stocks are bought and sold. This is what you call stock trading. Stock trading occurs amongst this cluster of public companies, which we refer to as the stock market. What's up with the stock market? What's good? So check it out. The stock market is set up so people like you and I can cash out on the ideas, clever management, and good business strategies of these public companies. See, this is how it works. Once you buy the shares of this company, that company is able to use your money to finance ideas and business strategies and sometimes pay employees and management. This is important because, I mean, why else would you buy a company stock? Would you go to a car dealership and buy the first car you saw in a lot? No. So why do it now? Don't you want to know what a company plans to do with your money? So always, always make sure you do enough research before you throw your money into anything, especially an investment. Okay, I understand. But how much does this stuff cost? I need that Chipotle money ASAP. Mmm. Well, each company has its own share price based on the value of the company. But don't the price go up and down? This is true, but let me explain why. There are two things that affect the price of shares. News, whether good or bad, will affect the share price, as well as the old faithful law of supply and demand. Yeah, we're definitely taking it back to that class you slept through during freshman year. Wake the hell up! And that new burrito bowl. Mm. Damn it, will you listen? What? I said news, whether good or bad, affects the share price, as well as the law of supply and demand. Moving forward. Uh. Well, how does that work? It's very simple. Good news causes investors to buy all the shares of a company. And on the other hand, Bad news causes investors to sell their shares, in most cases. So, uh, so these companies don't have an infinite amount of shares available to the public. The more shares they have available, the lower the price. The less shares they have available, the higher the price. So that's how it goes. When more people want the stock, the price of it goes up. You main stocks. <gasps> what? Actually, you're right. People go crazy for Jordans every year, and the price just keeps going up. So in a way, yes, 
Jordan's on stocks. Speaking of stocks, there are two types available to the public, common and preferred. Let's take a look at the chart. With common shares, an investor has the right to vote. And with that voting right, you can vote on the interest of the company, you can vote on the salaries of the executive directors and all the people involved with the decision-making process, as well as the decisions being made. With preferred stocks, there are no voting rights. With common stocks, the dividends fluctuate up and down. They can be less at one time, and more at another. With preferred stocks, there's a fixed dividend rate. Yo, you looking at the chart? Yeah, man. Now, with that dividend fluctuation of common stocks, that means that the dividend can be canceled at any time due to the growth of the company. If the company is strong, the dividend will continue. If the company becomes weak with the cash flow, the dividend may be stopped in order for the company to get stronger again. With preferred stocks, the dividend gets paid out first. So in case of liquidation, preferred stock investors would always get their money first. This wraps up what are stocks, what makes the price fluctuate, and exactly what stocks are available to the public. This is the Black Market. Tune in next week if you wish to further your knowledge and improve your financial situation. I'm Don Heavy. And I'm signing out. Shut up, shut up, shut up.